Ooh, dated colors, boring designs, uninspired. If any of these describe the picture frames around your house, well, no problemo because there are several ways to update old and outdated picture frames to make them fit your needs. Leanne Lee is the owner of Rekindled Spaces. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you, thank Wait, you. Okay, old and to new, I love it. So what are we doing with these so, oh, so not attractive, well now, oh, so not attractive picture frames. Yes, you know, I find so many picture frames at garage sales. People are updating their decor, changing their colors, so they think they have to get a new frame instead of changing the color or just updating the frame. Okay. So, I snag them up whenever I can find them. All right. So, first thing I did, Everybody's seen these sitting around the house. This is one that you must have just recently found. I did. This I is... got this actually garage selling um, with the crew here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we just want to take the backing and everything off. Gut it. Gut it. Okay. Completely gut it. Get all, right. all of this stuff out of it. Get the glass out of it so that we just have an empty frame. Okay. Okay. So this is really the easiest. Lord, easiest, that's hideous. That is hideous. Hideous. I just went to the hardware store, okay. got some oil rub bronze spray paint, All right. sprayed the frame up. Now while this, the paint is still wet, <clears throat> this is really the trick because you don't want it to be all one color, no, no, you don't no. want just a brown frame. So then I just take a, a, a rag okay. and just wipe off the high spots on so it. So you have a hint of the gold underneath hint it. Hint of the gold metals are really in. We yeah. just don't want a hideous gold frame. Hmm. So then we can fill it with all of this Ex stuff, yes, put the glass can. back in, do whatever you want. And with I see it. some little pearls over there too. Yes. Now this was a very ugly frame. Started out like this. Yes. What I did was I took some E6000. You just simply place it, just run a bead of it right along the frame. Well, I'll be. A this was just a super plain frame, and you're, super jazz plain. And, and you're jazzing it up. I love These it. These are pearls from a wedding, the wedding department. Yeah. I'm just going to glue the pearls on. Look at you. Yeah. Let it dry. Once it dries, then you can spray paint it. Got now it. you have a beautiful um, uh, de decorated edge over here. You love. can make a yeah, chalkboard, fill it with a picture, whatever you wanted to do. Now, what if the frame isn't the right size? Okay, a lot of times what I do, if you don't have a picture to fill it, let's think outside the picture. Let's, let's do, it. do something else with it. Okay. okay, so fun. What we're gonna do is this picture frame had a broken back on it. I okay. got it for $2 at a, at a garage sale. $2. Surprise. Um, what I'm gonna do is open the back of the frame. I went to my hardware store. Yes. Picked up a piece of sheet metal. Oh, look at you! From the heating and okay. cooling section. Gotcha. Sheet metal is magnetic. I'm gonna. I cut ten snips. You need gloves for this. Okay. Ten snips. Snip, snip. Kind of sharp. Stick it in that frame. Boom. Actually, I apologize. I'm getting ahead of myself. You get me all excited. You're the model I don't know of, what to do. You're the model of efficiency. I know. Uh, scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper. Okay. Just to go with your decor, sheet metal. I see where you're going do with you this. Do you see what I'm going to do? I see what you're going to do with this. I am going to make this now. Got it. Magnetic Boom. on the front. This is broken. We're yep. going to put it on an easel. I love this for a recipe card in yes. the kitchen. Look how cute that is. It took me a minute to figure out what you were doing, but now I'm I up know. to speed. I and um, you made me a little something something. I, oh what my did gosh. you make me? Welcome back from England. Thank you. Good to be back. So what I've made here. This was a cowboy frame. Ew. <laughs> it had little cowboy stickers all over it. So what I did was I peeled all of the stickers off. Then I took some scrapbook paper. Here's a piece of scrapbook paper in a similar. Honey, if you're looking, I want to go to Paris. Hint, right? hint, hint, I hint, I want to go to Paris. I found one of these that had London, England all over it. Gorgeous. I cut them out, decoupaged them with the Mod Podge, just with a brush. You, you just are so put sweet. it on, do that. I even went to the scrapbook store and got you some cute little stickers for Aww. your frame. Oh, and you made art too. Let's And I made art. Art. Yes. I just want to show this real fast and then we'll yes. move on. Art. Five oh. frames. We spray painted them all different colors, glued them together. Love it. Hey, beautiful. Let, beautiful. Let's toss it over to Michelle. Thank you.